at equilibrium position there would be a some uh, static deflection in this one because of the mg so generally in all the cases we are straight away neglecting let's see uh, what what happens if we consider the in this case so uh, here delta uh, sorry at equilibrium position this is not making any rotation actually so the pulley is not making any rotation so that means uh, here uh, force f is acting in this direction that is a let's say f naught that f naught is caused due to the mg force here that is a in turn um, producing some uh, deflection delta in the spring so if i apply moment ab about this point so mg into it is at a distance of uh, r so mg into r equal to the f into r again f equal to nothing but k into delta so k into delta into r so mg equal to k delta here and, uh, uh, and now i am applying some rotation to the disc when i apply some rotation to disc it's a rotated theta and uh, let's say if it is a point a initially the this point it a point is reaching a point a dash here and the distance traveled is x and here uh, the mass also travel travel a distance x and uh, this is moving in this direction theta but again the now the new force in the spring is f where f equal to k into x plus delta this time and uh, again i will apply momentum momentum about the point v so that equal to i into theta double dot equal to actually this is a moving in this direction means the clockwise direction so the forces which are moving you know uh, trying to move the pull in the clockwise direction is positive and the other forces are negative so here the uh, mg force mg force is acting in the clockwise direction but whereas the uh, spring force is acting in the anti clockwise direction so spring force first of all we will take spring force that is f into l and l means perpendicular distance here f equal to k into x plus delta into r plus y plus this is acting in the clockwise direction mg into r but mg into r equal to the k delta r so that will get cancelled so finally we will get i into this is i naught into theta double dot plus k x into r what is the x x we all we we can know you know again x equal to theta into r so if i substitute this one so r square into theta equal to zero and uh, what is the i naught here so i naught equal to m r square by two because this is a simple disk so mr square uh, here mr square by 2 because the moment of inertia is uh, passing through the center o here so omega equal to 2k by m and if i substitute the values 2 into So we will get 12.25 radian per second. So next problem is you know a simple and a direct one. So we have already seen um, the same problem. So this is a displacer position with an angle theta and uh, this is a mass m and this is a pressure like this this is a distance x and this is o and this is at a distance a and then this is also a so here we need to find out um, again the moment about the point o so this uh, this is rotating like this and this force is acting in the upward direction this force spring force equal to k into x but x again can be written as a, a into theta for a smaller theta so k a theta and uh, 
again i theta double dot equal to f into l here this theta double dot is moving in the clockwise direction but f is uh, trying to move the same rod in the anti-clockwise direction so that is f into k into a theta into perpendicular distance is a and then we here we have a mass mg force mg force is acting in the in the downward direction and uh, mg force is uh, acting in the downward direction but uh, when when it is in the equilibrium position so the mg is causing some initial displacement in the spring so whenever we come across these type of problems we are neglecting delta and g so here no need to take the mg here so uh, but uh, what is the i i is the moment of inertia of the mass m attached at the end with respect to point o because since this uh, rod length is uh, neglected this rod length is neglected m so how to calculate i naught i naught is simply m into k square m into k square k is nothing but uh, here 2a so here is radius of gyration k means m into that we detail you know we will deal about the radius of gyration how to calculate this moment of inertia everything when we deal um, the engineering mechanics so 2a here square this becomes a 4 m a square so this can be written as a 4 m a square a square will get cancelled so theta double dot plus k into theta equal to 0 so omega equal to k by 4 m so k by 4 m we have a here this is answer so when the rod is you know moving a little you know rotation because of this weight so let's say this is a theta so this spring is stretched by you know small distance displacement x and uh, here in this position this is in the equilibrium actually this is not uh, vibrating or it's not uh, actually this is not an initial displacement that we have given but uh, because of this mass uh, this, uh, this this rod has a uh, tilted a little bit towards the left side so in that case this is a theta that means uh, this is a this is a standard position that means it's equilibrium position so final equilibrium position and this is not executing any this is not executing any vibrations here so we need to understand this one because uh, we, we haven't given any initial displacement but due to this weight only it's just a tilted toward this one and uh, uh, here uh, this is a uh, uh, i'm calling this point o which is attached to the ground is a uh, uh, point o and the point yeah, A is uh, represent the, uh, the position where the mass is attached and uh, this is a point B where spring is attached here. So um, if this is the let's say A and this is the length A and uh, here in this position MC is acting uh, like this and if this is the uh, X1 this will become X2 and we can write you know X1 equal to 2a into theta and then x2 equal to a into theta and uh, at this equilibrium position if I apply moment about point o so moment about point o it should be zero because uh, the system in the equilibrium position if it is a uh, otherwise if it is a uh, moving or if it is a uh, vibrating then in this case instead of zero we could have uh, uh, written something like f, f cross l but here this f cross l equal to 0 because uh, this is in the equilibrium position so if I apply the same so what is the perpendicular distance for the mg force that is x2 and uh, this spring force is acting in this direction so mg into perpendicular distance of the mg force from the point o that is x2 so a a dash is the x2 but x2 equal to a into theta that is minus y minus this is moving in the anti-clockwise direction but uh, spring force is uh, rotating in the clockwise direction so that means k into x1 but x1 is 2a theta into what is the perpendicular distance from the point o to the b that is uh, again 2a that equal to 0 so from this equation so k equal to 
एम जी बाई फोर ए सो एम जी बाई फोर ए दिस इक्वल टू एम जी एम जी इज आई थिंक बेटर थ्री हंड्रेड दे हैव गिवन सो थ्री हंड्रेड बाई फोर इन टू ये इज वन फिफ्टी so it will become how much two times under 1 by 2 5 so this is a 500 newton per meter and this is rotating about the point o so initially this is at a um, at a distance of alpha and alpha these two legs are at a distance of alpha and alpha from the vertical so in this position what i have given is i have given initial displacement uh, ang uh, of angular displacement theta so the new position is so this is the new position where uh, this this is rotated through an angle theta so when it is rotated through an angle theta this become the this black color this black color marks indicates the new position so this this amount is the angle angle of this one is alpha plus theta and here the angle of the first one is here alpha minus theta because this is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so automatically this alpha is reduced by theta here in this leg but here the this leg is gained theta and the yellow color line represent the original one original one where this is a alpha and then again this is a alpha so for example we and uh, we need to find out uh, kinetic energy and uh, potential energy so first of all the kinetic energy so kinetic energy equal to half into i not omega square but what is the i not the rotation means moment of inertia about the point o so that equal to i not equal to we have two masses so 2 into m into k square where k is the radius of gyration here in this case that is the l So m into l square. So this is a this no uh, and this can be written as a m l square into theta dot square. This is a kinetic energy. And uh, we need to find out the potential energy of the two masses. Here for the mass one we have we have observed that uh, for the mass one the potential energy has uh, decreased because the height of the mass is a uh, decrease and that is a delta one we need to find out the change in height of the mass one that is a delta h1 so here mg delta h1 that is a negative because the potential energy of the mass is a decreasing because height is lowering and for the mass two the potential energy is a increasing because from the point position b it reaches a position d dash and uh, if you We have, you know, find out this projection on the vertical line. This is the vertical line. That is the delta H two. So the m g delta H two. Here this is a positive. So here we need to find out the delta H one and the delta H two. So to find out the delta H one, how can we write the projection of first the projection of O A dash is delta H one. Equal to the projection of O A dash. That is nothing but uh, here the O A dash is making an angle alpha minus theta. So L into cos of alpha minus theta minus the projection of O A. What is the projection of O A? That is L into cos alpha because O A is making cos alpha angle in the initial position. So L into cos alpha and uh, delta h2 so delta h2 equal to again the projection of ob the projection of ob is uh, l cos alpha because in the original position because uh, this o and b originally is uh, making alpha so alpha means uh, this is uh, for example uh, b double dash then uh, ob double dash equal to this is a l ob into cos alpha so ob into cos alpha then ob is l so l into cos alpha that's what we have written but in the 
new position it became b dash so projection of ob dash equal to l into cos of alpha plus theta that is uh, the angle made by the ob dash with the vertical so here all l into cos alpha plus theta and uh, if i substitute this delta h1 and delta h2 uh, in the pe equation then pe equal to mg is a common so mg and l also common in everything so what i write is first delta h2 terms because it's a positive so and uh, here l cos alpha l i have already taken out so cos alpha and uh, here also in this one we have a cos alpha but uh, here we have a negative so negative into negative it become positive so here it will become 2 cos alpha minus here this one minus l into l already uh, took out so cos alpha plus theta and um, again minus cos because here in uh, before mg delta h we have minus cos into alpha minus theta so what is the cos a plus b plus cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b that is 2 into cos a into cos b so mgl 2 mgl into cos alpha because here 2 cos here 2 into cos alpha and into cos theta so 2 already you know, i have written in, in before mg so cos alpha into cos theta and cos alpha also can be taken out so if i write you no know, uh, final equation p e equal to 2 mg 2 mg l cos alpha into 1 minus cos theta and uh, we we know the kinetic energy and uh, potential energy now so now i need to differentiate these two so when i differentiate this kinetic energy potential energy what happens first b the total energy term so what is the kinetic energy here so 2 m square l square theta double dot into theta so this theta here also will get theta but i will write again theta plus so here pe term equal to 2 mgl cos alpha into differentiation of cos theta equal to sin theta into theta dot equal to 0 but uh, we, we already know that theta is very small so when theta is very small sin theta becomes a theta and the theta dash is theta dot is the common term so the final term will become m l theta double dot plus g cos alpha into theta equal to zero so omega equal to g cos alpha by ml here this m also get cancelled so there is no m also so here g cos alpha by l square root 